together we can plan differently, work differently, so that Africa stops being poor. Africans stop being poor when Africa is rich and all the rich countries are getting rich on the back of our resources. The time is now for Africa to take charge of its destiny. We must still a mindset change away from misusing our resources towards seeking benefit for all our people, the poor and the marginalized majority. We must use these resources to the benefit of our countries. I think it's important that these resources must not only benefit the countries where the, or the companies come from, but they must also benefit the people whose resources they are, because these resources are our common heritage. They don't belong to the mine, mining companies. They are ours. We must have a win-win uh, relationship. Our contracts must be such that the company wins, but we also win. South Africa also needs to domesticate Agenda 2063 because the Agenda 2063 is more ambitious than our national plan as Africans. We must have skilled people. Then once we have skilled people, the rest can follow. Because if we have all the resources we have, in part we have not been able to use them to create wealth for our people because we have not skilled our people. Because you can liberalize labor, but if you don't have the skills, it's not going to make Africa successful. The, the mining obviously needs skills, but governments can provide the skills but mining should work with government because you, you, can, you can't train a mining engineer without a mine in a way. So it's important that these two work together. So it's not the sole responsibility of mining to train skills, but the two can work together. It was the AU working with the ECA that brought this matter to the fore of these illicit, illicit flows. I think to deal with them, we would need a number of stakeholders to be involved because these illicit flows, um, are in a, they, they go out of Africa in a number of ways. The first one just starts with the contract. If we take mining as an example, we can it, there are flows from other sectors, but we are talking to you miners, and there's lots of illicit flows from mining. The contracts that African countries sign with countries, with, with companies, are not in favor of the country, are very much weighed in favor of the company. And in part, it's because, again, it comes back to the skills. How many of our countries are training corporate lawyers and also lawyers that specialize in mining, in oil, and so on, all the things that we do in Africa? The, com the countries, again, don't have the capacity when the company says, these are my costs. How many countries are able to verify those costs? Hardly any. So the company will say, these are my costs, 100 million, when it's 20 million, and the country will be no wiser. Thirdly, when the company says, I've lifted so many tons of platinum, how many countries in Africa are able to verify that that's true? So right through the value chain, um, money is lost. And then companies say, oh, I'm not making a profit yet, so I can't pay tax. For years and years, and you wonder why a company will stay for 10 years if it's making a loss. But companies are not, countries do not 
have that capacity to say, no, 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 you are the AU, but without the necessary skills, cannot do it alone. The countries, the companies, but also the, the parent country companies must also assist in these illicit flows. So, and then co companies pay very little tax when they eventually do. And they say, oh no, the costs are high, this is high, this is high, and our countries are just being exploited and uh, resources are being taken. And that's why it's important to have business people who are also ethical, who think, who, who are not just because they, they, we talk a lot about corruption of the state, which must not happen. But what about corruption of business? If business were ethical, we wouldn't be having these illicit flows out of our, company, of, of our countries. So we all need to try and put our house in order. <laughs>